Kofor Carton, the Hawkeye 141 pounder. Davenport Assumption product out of Rock Island, Illinois. And he's going up against the Wisconsin Badger, Gabe Grayheck, Richard sophomore. Gray Heck out of Milwaukee, Wisconsin, Marquette High School. We started at 197. Nathan Burek got a major decision. Sam Stoll for Iowa got a decision. Tom Gilman for Iowa at 125 had a tech fall and uh, our Perler feature match at 133. Very competitive right down to the end. And Corey Clark getting the victory over Ryan Taylor at 133. They had split two years ago. This is the first time they'd met in two years, and Clark gets the win this time around. They'll meet again. Yeah, I have to believe that they will meet again there. That, that, was, that was a competitive match, and, and again, for, the, for Taylor's third match of the season, as, as Grayhick does a nice job of getting around the side. No points. Grayhick, a sophomore, going up against the junior, Topher Carton. He's a tall... He's a tall Drink of water here for a 141 pounder. Gray Heck is Badgers. See, you know, when you have that length, you want to see, you know, you don't want to spend too much time out in front of a guy like this. Circle back in, get that slight angle, use your length. See, he's comfortable with that uh, overhook. Carton is trying to go ahead and just kind of just push him off right now, but that's really not. You've got to get attacks if you're going to get that stall call. And he's got both arms tied up there using that length, right? And Carton able to go ahead and put his right hand on the hip. Now he's going to go ahead and throw with the overs. We got action. We're yep. See the referee making the call there. Larky. We have action. Stay center, guys. Set. Certainly do have action. Carton got off to a fast start in high school. He won his first 154 matches. He was a three-time state champion and four-time finalist. And there's opportunities here for, for Carton. But he's wrestling a little bit high here for somebody at this length. That, you know, sometimes when you wrestle a guy that, that it's a little bit taller, you kind of get out of your stance just because you're used to, to uh, you know, your eyes are, are at a certain level. And, and uh, you know, you kind of come out of your stance a little bit and you're susceptible to some of that high stuff. I think Carton needs to get a, lower his level a little bit and think about attacking low. He's going to end up getting tossed. Greg, one of his wins this year is against the Black and Gold. Wrestled another Iowa wrestler, Paul Glenn, in an open tournament. Won. Stepping out here for the Badgers in the varsity lineup. Things I always look for when I'm watching wrestling is when, when a guy has a tie up that he wants. That's an inside bicep tie, head position that he wanted. He had the wrist and, and he didn't take a shot. He actually had the guy pressure into him. So Carton had the, 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 the tie, I believe, that you'd want to have. Now he has an underhook, uh, you know, and, 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 he, and he's basically you know, pushing at this stage, not looking for techniques like what you saw in the previous two matches when he saw a lot of. You know, pressure forward, but you also saw an execution of technique. Now Carton answers, able to get in on the leg, able to come across the double, the double and yep. gets the takedown. Nice call, he did cut across, he got it right on the edge, two points, takedown for Carton. And, and you know, yeah. candidly, 141 is one of those uh, weight classes that Iowa is still looking for that guy that they think can be the guy, and Brody Grothis has been on his way down to 141. It's interesting, those were teammates at Davenport Assumption, Grothis yeah. and Carton. They're fighting it out, Carton trying to be the man. Yeah, and, and you could see that, you know, you, you struggle with your confidence because he had the ties that he wanted, but he wasn't executing, and then he finally decided to go with confidence. I wouldn't say with confidence, but he built his confidence. We're actually heading into the part of the lineup for Iowa where there are two or three weight classes that uh, I'm sure Coach Brands would like to see them step up a little more. You start at 197, you got a solid guy, Nathan Burek, and we're very impressed with Sam Stoll and what he's doing. Then you got a Thomas Gilman and a Clark. I mean, those are solid weight classes right there. 141, this is, I mean, if they're going to win that national championship or contend, 141, we're going to um, look at a couple other weight classes coming up, and they're just unsettled yet. Yeah, you know, after 49 with Sorensen, then you got 57 and 65, and 
and even 74 has kind of turned into an unsettled weight class here for the Hawks. A lot of optimism based on what Meyer was able to do last year. When he stepped in. He stepped in for Mike Evans, right. but, uh, you know, that back to the grind. Cody Walters from Ohio University really had a great Midlands championship. And when you see he beat Meyer 7-0, rode him out tough, it was just a, it was a hammering. And uh, so, you know, it puts doubts in your mind if you're an Iowa Hawkeye looking for uh, dominance at 174. Carton adjusting there. Watch watch what uh, Gray Hicks going to do right here. Doesn't he fight the hands? I guess he did he fight did the hands fight that time. Yeah. So Carton doing a little bit better job of staying in his stance. Right. Looks like he's coming out of his stance. Again, Gray Hick is, is, is tall. And a tall guy like that, you know, you, you don't usually like to attack just one leg, all right, because that length that they have will, will be able to cut the corner on you. Well, you know, that's why it's, it's usually easier to switch to a double on a, on a, on a, on a bigger guy like that because it's easier to get in. So the warning goes against Greyhack. He is backing out. Uh, he's going to get called again if he steps that foot out of bounds. Greyhack needs to get to the uh, rotate and get to the center and put his own pressure. But Carton uh, taking taking ground here. Well, this is a nice big mat. You know, that's the other thing too. The nice big mat, nice big sp uh, spread here. Got a bit of a funny story. I was out there talking to Mark Ironside here before the match. You know, and, and, and of course we don't wrestle too often in this arena here, do the dual meets. But we were out there walking in the middle of the mat, and, and Mark and I. The, Two-time NCAA champion for Iowa does the Iowa radio. We were looking at, and there was a two to four inch, two to two to four inch gap in between the seams of the mat. <laughs> I mean, you showed yeah, it to me. Yeah, it, it, was, was, it was dangerous. They had to it was get dangerous. the physical plant out of here and take care of that. Yeah, it was just about half hour before the meet. Uh, guys in ties were were uh, uh, basically going to work there, uh, putting the, uh, the mat seams together, but. Uh, a little slower coming to the back, uh, back to the middle for Greyhack here. We're 26 seconds left in the second period. Carton putting the pressure on right from the center circle in on nice the shot. leg. He's got to switch to a double. Here's what I was talking about. He's got the yeah, car the angle and that's two points. Yep. What? This is a good confidence builder here for somebody like Carton to uh, get the win. But at least head anyway in this match, but. Uh, End of the second period. It's a takedown and a right out to end the period. It's the way you like to set it up. You can't draw it up on the uh, board any better than that. Carton uh, chooses neutral. He says, I like what I've been able to do with my feet. Here we go. Grayheck has really not gotten any shots off to speak of it all. He's lowered his level at this point. This, again, one of those situations where, where you got two guys that, that may be struggling with their confidence a little bit, and, and one's at least getting on the attack a little bit quicker. There's that slide by. Harton comes around the waist. Again, he's standing a little high with the, with this with the, with the tall drink of water here at Greyhack. And when you do that, sometimes you can find yourself out of position, particularly if you're just going to push to get him off the mat. You might find yourself thrown. We're at the Cole Center. Tim Johnson along with Jim Gibbons. It's Iowa and Wisconsin. Iowa out in front, 15-0. We're at 141. We started at 197, went through heavyweight. Back through 125, and now we're at 141 pounds. Ready, right at the midway point of this meet. We're in the third period with Topher Carton, the Hawkeye 141 pounder out in front of Greyhack, 42. No riding time. With Tom Brands there in the background, the head coach of Iowa. You can tell, I mean, he's looking, he's looking for how is Topher Carton getting better? He's thinking ahead. He's thinking about, you know, I just want to see him compete in the way that he needs to compete so he can score points for the Hawkeyes. Well, I just don't think he'd be really happy with that third period because he chose neutral and basically hasn't got any attacks on it. So, 
this is uh, against a guy I don't, I don't think that it's too difficult. He'll be struggling a little bit here to get back to the center of the mat. It's not that far out of this match. Nope, there's no riding time. A takedown would take it to overtime. And Carton's still uh, in on it, but Grayhack a little um, casting over. And he's going to have to do something right now. Time runs out. Carton wins. 42. Hawks get three more points. 18-0. Throwing a shutout. Going into the intermission. There's your winner, Topher Carton.